Check this out. Check this welcome, out. welcome to BLBA Big Show. Hockey sports, life for the adult athletes. Yeah. Powered by the Beer League Players Association. You better follow me. Follow us. The BLBA on every social media outlet. Follow the crew on Twitter at Nicker Jones. And let's get it. Here we go. Hey, Jason. On a daily basis, yeah. on a daily basis, like how much dick do you think you have in your mouth on a daily basis? Welcome to the greatest sports show in the world. Good week, everybody. Good week. I hope you're having a great week. I've had a, a couple of great weeks since you've heard from me. I got my buddy Jason. Jason, what's going on? What's up, Nick? Uh, you know, I'm literally right now. I'm in the back of my whoa, back of my Explorer, uh, just uh, chilling and killing, bud. Just uh, missing missing the playoffs because the people needed a podcast. We've been getting razzed about it pretty good, and so um, yeah. so I was like, okay, well I'll do it. And then I said, when can we when can we record? And you said uh, tonight. And you know the Flames. I know I know you're not caring because your team's out of the playoffs. So you're like fuck everyone else. And so here I am missing the playoffs for the people. Yeah, no, that's uh, you're, you're a good man for that. I know, uh, you know, you mentioned that we we've, we've got a little flack uh, for the lack of, of podcasts here recently. Uh, you know, I've heard I've heard people quit going to the gym, people quit driving to work because they had nothing to listen to. So uh, hopefully, we can get everybody uh, back on their schedules with uh, with this one. Yeah, that you know that would be nice. Hold on, I, I gotta fix this thing. Hold on one second. All right, I'm see if that works. See if I can get the mic farther from my phone here. Uh, you know, we we did say that we uh, we we did say that we brought you all new recording gear, uh, but we haven't got to use it yeah. yet. So hopefully, we'll get to use that here here in here in the near future. Other than that, can you tell the people where they can find us? Uh, yeah, they can find us on basically every social known to man uh, at the BLPA. Uh, they can find me just on Twitter at Beer League Jason. They can find Nick uh, on Twitter at Nicker Jones and the Nicker Jones on Instagram. Yeah, that about sums it up. Uh, I just want to let yeah. everyone know that uh, I know this is weird. No one probably knows about this, but uh, this show is brought to you by HockeyWolf.com. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 ow. Beer leaguers just like you and me trying to make the game more affordable. They love the game. They love their customers. They love us. They love beer leaguers. So go check them out. If you guys need anything beer league related, they're the ones to help you. So go check them out. Hockeywolf.com. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 ow. So Jason, let me let me ask you, bud. Over the over the course of a day, how much penis do you think you have in your mouth? Um I, I'm not sure where this question is going. I'm going to start with zero. Okay. Uh, and, and then maybe if you reframe it, we might work our way up. I don't know. Well, here's the deal. I was sitting in the bathroom the other day, just, you know, doing my business, pooping. Yeah. Uh, and probably doing a little peeing, too, at a bar. And, you know, just sometimes, sometimes it sucks to have to poop in, in public places, but you do. I was sitting in there yeah. uh, taking care of business, and some, some old boy came there, pissed, and then walked out without washing his hands. So he's fun. Okay. He's fondling his dick, and he yeah. walks out. And I know he's probably going to the fucking bar. And all I can think of is, "Fuck! Now I'm gonna have his fucking dick particles all in my fucking mouth because the motherfucker didn't wash his hands." And then it got okay. me to thinking. Then it got me to thinking, how much dick or dick particles, dong particles, if we want to be, you know, a clean family show, um, do you think that people have in their mouth? At any at one point at, on any day, it's it's a lot of dick particles, right? Yeah, I don't know. I guess it depends on how much that person. Uh, well, yeah, I guess really there there is no depends because like if if you're around people, right, or you touch things in public places, uh, there's a good chance you're getting dick particles on your <laughs> hands. Um, but if, as long as I guess as long as you wash your hands before you touch anything that's going in your mouth. Theoretically, you should get all the the picked up dick particles uh, off off before they go in your mouth. So maybe you know maybe most people have like way more on their hands okay. throughout the day than they do in their mouth. Okay. Well, what about your people waving their hands around when they talk? You go to a fucking restaurant, you're sitting at a table, they serve you a sandwich. You got all these fucking people waving dick particles all through the air. They land on your sandwich, you put them around your mouth. 
Yeah, I, I'm not a scientist, so I don't know how far the dick particles can go in the in the air. It should be studied, um, but it's certain. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, that's, maybe that maybe that's your calling, uh, since you are a scientist, is to to figure out the dick particle. Uh, <laughs> you know, no, wait, question. wait a god dang second right here. I'm not a fucking dick scientist. Okay, well, I mean, maybe you could be. Well, yeah. I mean, I, I haven't really narrowed down my calling. Uh, my calling, but I just don't think that it's in in dick particles. But I mean, it was on okay. dick particles were on my mind. I mean, I, that's alarming. Yeah. I mean, it's the alarming the the amount of dick you probably have in your mouth on any given day is probably astronomical. Like, do you think it's a half a dick worth? Do you think it's a quarter dick? Do you think it's a full dick? I hope I'm not walking around with full dick in my mouth all day. To be honest with you. Yeah. Well, I mean, but at this point, like, you've been doing it for how long? So maybe it's not as bad as you think it is. Yeah, so what about those women that say that they don't go around, you know, fellatiating wieners? And then you can yeah, you they, can counter well, back with, well, uh, actually, to be uh, to be fair, you, you do. You probably are. Yeah, you, you do yeah. you do without knowing it. So let's just get it going. I don't know where that came from, other than I was just sitting in a in a uh, uh, you know a stall, just with me and my thoughts. Well, I mean, the hard hitting questions do have to be asked for sure like you just you know and if we got to do it we got to do it i mean i just don't see any other podcast worrying about dick particles and someone has to yeah for sure so that's so jason basically jason's have he has three-quarter dick in his mouth every day i think uh i'm probably right around the same Uh, that's probably the average we got to find the average yeah well we'll 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 do some research and uh and report back to the group uh, it's just so everyone will know exactly how much dick they're walking around with yeah, in think, their mouth. I think, it, I think it's fair that we know them. Then we can have a PSA, like be careful. You yeah. know, today, <laughs> today's a, a heavy dick particle day. <laughs> uh, so just watch out. Maybe, may, may, hey, maybe, maybe wearing these masks wasn't such a bad idea, you know? Yeah, no, it'll, it, it'll remind me of those, like, uh, the smog, uh, warnings in California when there's too much smog. We'll put out like a little uh, message on a sign, like, "Hey, six particles are high today. Think, you know, consider washing your hands." Yeah, we got a dick index of eight today, so make sure you uh, wash your hands for at least thirty <laughs> seconds. If you just sing "Happy Birthday" three times, that'll take care of it. Uh, just everyone, be careful. We got a dick index of eight. Uh, yeah, <laughs> watch your perfect. watch your mouths today. Um, <laughs> uh, but anyway, <coughs> ooh, still got a little cough going. Okay. So big, 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 big time right now. We, we mentioned me missing the playoffs, uh, but the playoffs are in full swing. And I, I don't know. I don't know uh, what your thoughts are on them, but I'm 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 not really I'm not really digging them this year. It, it seems like um, seems like it's a, a, a lot more penalties than we're used to being uh, seen uh, on uh, on playoff hockey. Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's definitely been a little soft. Uh, as far as like, you know, some, I, I think I saw like a, uh, a cross checking penalty where like the guy literally like braced his stick against the guy's back, like wasn't any force at all. And it was somehow a cross check. So I agree. I think it's, it's been a little bit of that. I actually, uh, am writing a letter to, to Gary Bettman right now, um, because I think the avalanche are in the wrong lead. I think they mm-hmm. need to be bumped up. Um, you know, they just, they don't belong, uh, in this league. And it, it clearly showed in their first series. So, um, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to see if I can get them kicked out of the league. Next year. Well, I think really, I mean, make sure that you add, you know, I pay good money for this league Yeah. and, exactly. you, know, you know, customers are never wrong. Make sure you add that. What, you know what I'm concerned about? And listen, I am, I'm on record as an oiler hater. Okay. I mean, and listen, for sure. For sure. Listen, uh, do I chirp their fans? Yes. Do I get in a bunch of tweets with Oiler fans on Twitter? Yes. But I don't think that the Oiler fans are bad people. I just think they're misguided in who they cheer for. And you know that's part of being a fan. Okay. That, they probably think the same about me as a Flames fan. But I heard like on the very first playoff game or the Oilers and Kings, someone said, oh, yeah, McDavid's on the uh, competition committee this year, and he's really pushing hard. He really thinks it should be called uh, you know, more penalties in the playoffs. I'm like, fucking course he does. He's the best goddamn player in the world, and th- they can only score on the power play, so of course he wants that. But I don't want that, and not even because of the Oilers. Even if the Oilers w- weren't in the playoffs, I wouldn't want that because it just seems like 
it's so cheap. All these, and then you watch, then you watch, like I was watching the game last night, and you're talking about a, a power a penalty was called on a guy that was just bracing his stick on the back. And then I saw Darnell Nurse literally headbutt a dude he, right on the fucking chin with his helmet, and they just were like, nah, I'm not calling that. And now he's suspended for one game, and I get referees miss calls. I'm not saying that, but what I'm saying is, the the ticky tacky stuff has can't be called in the playoffs, and especially if you're going to let stuff like that go. Yeah, I, I agree. I think it's got to be like blatant uh, things for for playoff hockey. You know, things like uh, a puck over the glass or, or too many men on the ice. Like those are like we have to call them, right? Like yeah, it's it, it's not uh, it's not a, a judgment call. That's a, a clear black and white. There's either too many men on the ice or there's not, or the puck either goes over the glass, you know, from the defense. Um, but things like trip, hold, uh, cross check, things like that, um, I think they still need to be called if they're done, but it's got to be like an obvious, uh, you know, an obvious penalty for sure. 100%. I, I li- and you know what's weird? It's like th- there's a lot of even up calls too. There's been so much four on four hockey, especially in the Flames King series. I literally watched like a guy go and and start like pushing a flame in the face pushing a flame in the face you're like okay that's a penalty the ref called it and the flame guy did nothing like he didn't take the bait and he got called like they were like okay you're going too and he's like i didn't even do anything i literally stood here and got punched in the face and i'm just like holy shit just just call it like the regular playoffs like i don't care that mcdavid's on the competition committee i don't care that the media says we need more penal- uh, penalties called because power plays are more exciting for fans cool in the regular season do it but in the in the playoffs when the games matter don't do it that's my that's my yeah. feelings well i don't know if you heard but i have loved the dallas calgary uh series and mainly because they're just beating the hell out of each other and it, yeah. i enjoy watching them it, it is, and here's the deal, Jamie Ben. Here's if Jamie, if Jamie Ben, and it, you know, Grant, I'm not a big Flames or a Stars guy, but if Jamie Ben's gonna run around like a like a lunatic, and pick on the smaller people, he's gotta accept. He's gotta accept the challenge from Lucci at the like at the start of the game four the other day. He just skated around like a little idiot, you're, you're, and then goes after Michael Backlund. Yeah, well, you're talking about a guy who refuses to go down on a lady. So, like, clearly no integrity there. Well, he's walking around with all these dick particles, you know? <laughs> he's in the locker room. There's yeah. probably tons yeah. of dick particles in there. Yeah, oh, do you think we get more dick particles from being in the locker oh, room? I was in a lot of locker rooms this uh, week. But when the, when the dicks are out, the particles are flying. You know that. Okay, so maybe me and you have more than three quarters. Maybe we have, like, one and a quarter dick in our mouth on oh, game day. Oh, man. Got that old game day dick index. Um, <laughs> hey, oh, wait. He doesn't go down on ladies? I guess I must have missed you this. You didn't hear about this? No. I mean, what was this in, like, oh, there was, is this a there, penthouse letter or what? Yeah. Yeah. This, he, he, had, he, like, put out a tweet a long time ago, uh, like, a long, long time ago. Uh, it might have been, like, early playing days or pre-playing days. Uh, but essentially saying going down on a woman was gross. Like, he, he didn't do that. Um, and so like, that's the big joke on, on hockey Twitter is like, uh, you know, anytime he does something and like, he doesn't fall down, people are like, Oh, well, you know, he refuses to go down. So it it makes sense. (laughs) I I had no clue about this, but that, that reminds me of another player that, you know, uh, big dad, same way. I don't know if I'm supposed to say Yeah, big dad, same way. Exactly. Uh, We've talked, we've we've talked about it on the podcast before, so I think I can say it. And, you know, chalk another uh, point up for old Cosentino. Shout out Michael Cosentino and his family. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know he takes care right. of business if for we sure. Put that, it, yeah, if we put that in the competition between the two, then, you know, that's an easy win for Cos. Yeah, easy dub. Yeah, yeah I mean, and, and, you know, easy dubs are probably where you're going to separate yourself. And I think that's, uh, yeah, I, I, you know, chalk another point up for Cosentino. Shout out uh, <laughs> Michael Cosentino and his whole family. So. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, hey, again. If you're needing some uh, alternative power sources, Solar Joe. Go talk to Solar Joe. Yeah, He'll get you some it. solar panels. Uh, invoice in the mail. Other than that. <laughs> so speaking of playoffs, okay, here's what's strange. There's there's so many different playoff formats out there in beer leagues, and I'm just curious about them, about what kind of your beer league uses. I know you play in a couple beer leagues. Uh, I played in one here in, in Calgary, and uh, I played in the one in Oklahoma, of course. So let's talk about the differences between uh, playoffs in 
uh, in beer league, the different ones. And and if if ours is different than what our listeners have, I want to hear about those too because uh, it's interesting to hear how different beer leagues work. Uh, but before we get into that, let's talk about what's coming up for the BLPA. Okay. I'm leaving tomorrow. And okay, listen, I am an idiot when it comes to travel right now. I always think it's a good idea to take the 6 a.m. flight out of Calgary because I'm getting to where I'm going. Uh, and it feels nice when, Never I, a good idea. Yeah, when I get when I get to D.C. at noon. It's going to feel great until I realize I just woke up at three fucking o'clock in the morning to get to the airport. And now I'm dog tired. Right. And that that's three o'clock in the morning in West Coast or Mountain Time, wherever you're at. And then you're going to East Coast. So then you got to take the, the jet lag into effect. And like, yeah, it's just. I don't think the 6 a.m. flight's ever a good idea. I am a a noon or later flight guy, uh, unless Frank's riding with me, and then I, I also book the 6 a.m. flight, but that's just to piss him off. Um, but generally, I'm a, I'm a noon or later kind of guy. Well, here's here's the part that, that I don't get, is I do it every time, and every time I send out a message that says, I do this every fucking time, I feel like shit because it's 4 in the morning, I'm sitting in this airport twiddling my fucking thumb, looking at all these dick particles floating around. And then, then the next time I go book a flight, I'm like, you know what? Ah, a six o'clock flight won't be so bad. It always is. Always. But nonetheless, I'm going to D.C. tomorrow for the BLPA Bash. we got 24 teams. Not quite as big as Columbus, but that's okay. We're still going to have a lot of people. We're going to have a lot of yeah. beer. We're going to have a lot of food. Um, last, time, last time we were on, we were talking about Columbus, and you were heading to the old, the old chipper. How, how did that work out for you? Yeah. Uh, we got Colorado Avalanche. Uh, in the championship game, but that's all right. Uh, that team was, uh, you know, they, you could tell they had played together a long time and, and uh, they had, you know, a lot of strong skaters, but our team was definitely better looking uh, and we were more fun. So I'll take, I'll take that as a dump. Okay, that, that, that seems pretty fair. Yeah, so we're going to do this all again. And congratulations to all the people that won in the Columbus BLPA Bash and got that invite to the Beer League World Championships in Vegas. I believe it's October 23rd to 25th. But after, after D.C., I come back to Calgary for a few days. Then I fly out again uh, to Cleveland. Guess what time my flight leaves? 6.15 in the morning. 6 a.m.? Yep, yep. Already booked it. Booked her straight out. I said, oh, man, that's not going to be too bad. Uh, but then I don't even fly home. I, I do have a flight home booked, but I'm not going. I'm not going home. Because after Cleveland, no. we're driving straight from Cleveland all the way to Houston, Texas for the Oil Kings Memorial Shootout Classic or whatever it's called. And we're going to be rocking okay. and rolling down there. And I think I have a dilemma. I have a dilemma. And I don't know if I should say this because then when we then when we get there, if I'm right, I'm going to get ragged on. And if I'm wrong, I'm going to get ragged on. So I don't know. I don't know if I should say it, but I'm going to. We might be okay. we might be the sandbaggers on accident. Oh, on, on accident. OK, uh, strictly uh, accident. Uh, like, well, I mean, I mean, we we definitely we didn't set it up and say, hey, we want to come run the fucking table. Um, but you okay. know, he said, where are you at? And I'm like, yeah, you know, we got the the problem is we're a free agent team, so I don't even know where the skill level is. But usually, the people that jump on these teams are lower level players. Right. And uh, that does make sense. You know, I, when I looked at, it, we might be in the lowest division. And uh, okay. if that's the case, I mean, we got Jeff Pack playing. You know, ringer yeah, over in I your mean, pick. Well, for, that's the ringer. Ringer I, in the lowest division could uh, could be trouble. But I don't. But the, here's the catch. I don't know. I don't even know who our goalie is. We might not even have a goalie. So right. so the thing is, I might be playing net, which is which is okay. bad. Which is bad fucking news for all those other teams. All right, because I'm yeah, for sure. I've only that's, lost. I've only lost a handful of games in my goalie amazing. career. I've only lost a handful of goalie right. games. So, yeah. Ask me how many I played. Just the one? Only, yeah. only a handful, bud. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we're going to go down there. We've got a big Memorial Day uh, uh, classic. I'm pretty stoked about it because this is kind of the first tournament that I have played in a while that hasn't been like a tournament that I that I own and run. And so I'm excited to do yeah. that. We're going to be set up with – we're going to have our, our merch trailer and we're going to have our merch tent out there just, uh, you know, you know, we're, we're selling merch, bud, slinging it, heavy slinging it. Yeah. Okay. And, there, and uh, I can speak for the, the merch that I saw in Columbus. There's, uh, it's always good, but there was there was some really good stuff uh, on the table. I ended up walking away with two hoodies that I didn't need, 
mm. uh, when I got there, but I needed them before I left. So. And you know, and you know what else those hoodies uh, don't have now? Sleeves. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, why would a hoodie have sleeves? That's silly. Um, yeah. Hey, the, the merch game, the merch game is on fire right now. And I want to be on, like, I have some other stuff that's getting ready to come out that I think like, like logo wise, probably some of my favorite stuff. Like I'm working with a, with a couple different artists, which I, I, I love Seamus who does, who's done basically all of our stuff. Uh, Tim and Envious made the original logo, but outside of that, like Seamus, uh, from Dixie hockey has really killed uh, a lot of our merch stuff. Uh, but I, I've kind of branched out and, and found a couple other people that, you know, they act like they're interested in, in working with us and they've sent out over some samples and I'm just like, okay, I'm digging it. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. So, you know, Oh yeah. could be oh, could, yeah. like, like which, which hoodies did you get? Did you get that wheel one? I did. Yeah. I the, got that one. The wheel and I sweet. got, uh, yeah, the wheel one was really nice. And then I got another one and I can't remember what it was well we had the, uh, off the top of my we head, had the but, eight bit we had the eight bit shirt and it's coming in a hoodie like the old yeah. sc- the old school nintendo player that i literally made by hand i made that design by my hand on adobe illustrator myself and i have very little design skills and capabilities but i made that and I, people loved it like it we al- we almost sold out yeah. of the first run so i had to order a whole bunch more and so uh so yeah so we'll be there uh set up at i believe it's it's sugarland i think is where, there's like four different rinks they use and i think this one uh, we're going to be at the the main one uh just slinging slinging merch heavy slinging and then playing some puck and hopefully we're not sandbaggers on accident <laughs> hopefully because no no hopefully. hey listen i don't i don't want that like i cool if we win great that'll be awesome but i don't want it i don't want it that way i want it the real way you know like i want to struggle through i want to struggle through Every game's a battle, and then you come out on top at the end. It just feels so fucking good. I don't want it these. Yeah, no, I agree. I don't want it these. Like a nice, nice OT, OT championship winner because the game was that close. I mean, maybe it's a maybe it's a shootout, right? And I come down. I pull off that same move I pulled on Frank, but I miss. And then the next guy misses, and then the next guy on my team comes down and wins it. That's how I envision it. Okay, you know what I'm saying? I like that. Like, I, listen, when, yeah. it, when it comes down to clutch shootout, probably I'm probably not your guy. I'm a realist. That's fair. I'm probably not your That's guy. Fair. But if we're up if we're up 9-3 to three or down 9-3 to three and I'm on a breakaway, I'm finishing it every goddamn time. Just ask Frank. <laughs> Just ask him. <laughs> ask him. Fight me, Frank. No, don't fight me. I don't want to fight you, Frank. I'm lying. I, I was joking. Yeah, don't do that. Sorry, it just got the best of me right there. Uh, okay, so d- different playoffs. Well, what's your play? You, you were telling me that you, that your playoffs are a little different uh, than what you've uh, experienced in the past. So tell me a little bit about your playoffs. Yeah, so we've got a couple of different rinks in Nashville. This is I've played on teams before at this rink uh, that I'm playing in the playoffs now. Um, but the way that the playoffs are run are different, so I never played in the playoffs at this rink, and I'll tell you why here in just a second. But at the other rink, it, it to me is what I consider normal uh playoff structure the games are exactly the same it's 12 minutes stop clock just like it is in the regular season we have like uh, a 10 or 12 game uh season and then whether it's spring fall or winter uh or summer and then at the end of that they do a playoff format it's eight teams one game each we wait that to me is the normal playoff setting um but maybe it's not, and it's just normal to me because that's all I've played before. But the rink that I'm at now, they have they still break their seasons down into four seasons, spring, summer, fall, winter. But they don't have playoffs until the playoffs are going for the NHL. So they follow the same NHL schedule. Um, so you play four seasons. And then your cumulative record through four seasons is how you get seeded for playoffs. So I think that's weird to start. Okay. Then the regular season games are 20 minute run clock period. But for the playoffs, they do 14 minute stop clock. They change the way that they play the games there as well. And then finally, if you make it to the finals, they actually do a three game uh, or a. Yeah, a best of three series. So you have to win two games to actually win the championship. It's single elimination up to the finals, but then for the finals, 
uh, it's a three game uh, best of three series. Okay. But I just thought that was interesting, kind of how different the two were. The seeding, the seeding over multiple years is kind of like who that who is taking their time to seed over that long. Uh, but yeah, I, I do strength, I, right. I do like the best of three in the in the championship game, uh, championship uh, finals. Uh, but uh, do, does every team in in there make it? Like every team in the league make the playoffs? Uh, no. Hmm. That's a rough one. That's why I did like about this league I was playing in Calgary. Every team made the playoffs. Didn't matter if you were first place or sixth place in that division. You made the playoffs, and it was single elimination until the last game, and then you got then you got three, you know, best of three series. My team never like we we finished like we were like the president's trophy winners. Like we blew everyone out, and then when playoffs came, like everyone was gone. Uh, we don't have half a squad or whatever. Or really, what happened is during regular season we had 18 people and sometimes we had eight people show up and we'd always bring out, you know, players that would come play. And it was usually the, the ringers that wanted to sub and not pay league fees. So they just sub in all these leagues and they just come out and help us win all these games. And then we got to the playoffs and we struggled big time. Yeah. Big time. Well, and the other crazy thing is, is because they do it over multiple seasons, the team roster is anyone who played in any of the seasons. So then, oh, wow. You got teams that like load up with guys who didn't even play the previous season, but they played three seasons ago or whatever it is. Uh, and you're like, I've never even seen this guy, uh, and he just scored four goals against us. So, just it, it just seems strange to me the way that they they do that for sure. But that's not that's not the Predators uh, league, is it? No, no. It's just like a private this is that Centennial. Okay. Uh, the rink that you played there before. Yeah, no, I, I hey, but I played at all of them except. I don't think I played yeah. at Bellevue, but I'm going to change that this year probably. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I like that. You know, what, what about – okay, let's talk about – I know that league doesn't have it, but have you ever played in a league where you have a minimum games played rule? Uh, I haven't. Uh, the other league, just the rule is they have to be, like you said, full-time um, roster members. They had to pay like a full-time fee. Gotcha. Uh, and as long as as long as they're a full time roster, they can play. Uh, no no subs in playoffs. Yeah. See that that was what about this this other league I played in. It was cool that you had uh, so we had thirty games in the winter season. You had to play at least a third of the games to qualify for the playoffs. Yeah, I like that. So, I think that's that's a smart rule. Yeah, and so we we had like eighteen guys on the roster, twenty guys on the roster because the league fees were so expensive. And if you didn't make your your ten games uh, by the last few games of the season, everyone showed up for those games. Like you had, we had we had oh. full benches. Like we had twenty guys, just you know, fifteen of us sitting on the bench, just twiddling our thumbs, not getting a shift because people wanted to qualify for the playoffs. That was the only. But then they also had some other stupid rules, and I think it was stupid rules because I think they put these in because they they wanted to play with their friends. They had these things called club teams. So we had thirteen divisions, right? And there were club yep. teams. So there's like a hosers, which was basically the the league team, uh, they never invited me to play, which is weird. But um, they they would play. They had like eight eight hosers teams, right? And so what they do is they'd okay. say, okay, if you play, if you play for one of the club teams, so let's say I'm in the on the Div Ten team, if you play for the Div Eight team, you get half a game towards the Div Ten team. So if you played twenty, if you played, if you played five games with the Div Ten team. But you played all of the game with the Div Eight team. You could also play in the Div Team Ten team in playoffs, and so that kind of sucked. That, that was kind of shitty, I thought. Yeah. So okay, yeah, that does, that seems weird for sure. So like the thing about it was there was this guy, and listen, I, I like the guy. The guy's a nice guy, uh, but he literally played for every team, and he he led he led Division Two in scoring, but he was down playing in Division Twelve because he was with his friends on this club team, and you're just like what. That sucks, and what are you then doing here? Yeah. and and, are you then, here? and then sometimes there would be like hosers teams, and they'd get moved to the same division throughout the season, and so like it, what would suck is like this guy would be like let's say your team beat beat the team with this guy on it, he would just be on the team with the same hosers team the next night, and you're like F- we just took care of this guy, and now we got to deal with him again. It it was just it just blew my mind that that that's how they allowed it to play, but you know I, it wasn't my league, so yeah. No, it is crazy. But I would be curious to hear from, uh, you know, the the rest of the, the DLPA crew uh, to see how playoffs are done kind of all over the place. Um, it seems like there are some different formats. It would be interesting. To see. 
I, see, I want to hear you know, crazy what, rules. What other people consider normal. I, I want to hear yeah. rules that that really cut down on things. Just just because I'm interested to see what. Like, see, I I think the problem is. And I know, I know. Listen, I run tournaments. I understand. Like, you have to fill. You have to get the tournaments uh, to a certain number to have them run. And 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 leagues are are the same way. Like, you know, there's a. You have to keep teams in the league, right? So, like, how hardcore are these leagues when they're thinking? You know, especially like in Calgary, where there's 15 different leagues. So if you don't like if you don't like this this league, you just walk over to the next league, right? Right. It's a little different, like when you're in Nashville, yeah. where there's only a couple leagues, and Oklahoma, exactly. Oklahoma, yeah. there was only one one r- real league. I mean, they had a couple private leagues, but they were small, small, small. Uh, you know, so then then you get away with a little bit more. But then on the on the other hand, then people would be like, well, I just don't want to play hockey anymore. So I guess I get that. But yeah, I'd be interested to hear uh, about other other leagues and and their playoffs or any even weird rules that just go in the leagues. There was one I think uh, I had a friend that. Uh, in their in their league, if you scored an empty net goal, it erased all your stats for that game. Really? Yeah. Isn't that weird? Like why? And and I live. That they, is weird. They would rec- why? They would record the game. Someone did play by play. Like it was a hardcore league, and they would do play by play. And they she sent me a video, and it said, "Oh, oh, they, he, here he did. He's he's he scored an empty net goal. Guess he's not getting any stats for this game." And they just erased the stats. Did they ever? Did you ever find out like why? They said that shit, they just didn't want people running up the score that way. And I'm like, well, if it's a one goal game and you're trying to ice the game away, like I don't understand. He's like, well, right. we just we apply it across the board. And I'm like, that's just a weird, a weird rule. Like I I never understood it, but it happens, and that's the way it goes. That's crazy. Yeah, that is strange. Yeah. So, uh, where where are you driving to, by the way? I'm just headed out to South Carolina. Oh, back out of South Carolina. I like that. When are you back? When are we going to get to – oh, we're going to get to record in person the next week. Yeah, so I'll be back uh, Friday this week. So uh, maybe we can maybe we can knock out a, a Sunday or, or something over the weekend because, as you mentioned, I, I do have some super nice equipment now, so it would be nice to, uh, to record uh, not on my AirPods. Yeah, that hey, that would sound way better too. Hey, also, I'm I'm gonna record at the at the at the the tournament this week, and I'm gonna find someone. I'm just gonna pull them around and say, let's talk about something. Bring me a topic and let's go. Because I did put it out there because I didn't know if we were gonna get to record this week, and I asked people in the BLPA, hey, are you funny? You want to talk about something? But no one no one really seemed funny. Sorry, BLPA guys, you gotta hit me with better topics than what you hit me with if you want to come on the show. Yeah, no, yeah, this this is a this is the real deal. You can't show up and and half step it and and get on. And that's saying something because we don't plan our shows anymore. We just fucking let her go. We just we just show up and start talking. I mean, do you know how bad your your topic has to be if if I led with a show about dick particles and you didn't make the cut? I mean, come on. But really, what it is is I like I get yeah. like people like. Listen, this is a beer league show. It's about beer league hockey, but it's about way more than that. And a lot of the topics that people came out like we've already discussed, right? It's ad nauseum. So you can't just we can't just repeat over and over and over and over and over. Yeah, we and that's the thing. Like we can't talk about beer league exclusively because there's only so many things to talk about in beer league. How many times do you want to hear uh, that ringers are stupid? Ringers, um, ringers are know, stupid. Like, I didn't score a goal. Uh, Frank let too many goals in. Uh, Michael Cosentino yeah. is really fast and better than Big Dad. That's the show. Like that's we every time, right? You know, yeah. You don't want to hear every week. Yeah. Do you want to hear about dick particles? You, be yeah. People want to hear about dick particles and fart. I mean, fart jokes are, is another thing, right? You know, so so funny. What yeah. are you gonna do? What are yeah. you gonna do? So, all right, we we should probably end this because I got to be at a flight pretty soon. I don't know if you know this, but I book all my flights super early because I'm an idiot. Yeah, but do you? I, before we go, uh, I did want to see. Did you want to? Did you want to talk about something I saw on uh, Twitter today that Boobs? I'm not thrilled about? It looks good, but I'm not thrilled about it. Uh, uh, but I saw a pretty uh, a pretty sweet uh, new trailer that you guys got going. <laughs> well, okay, it's not a new trailer. We just wrapped the trailer. I mean, we're not we're not right, just right. we're not we're not just putting away you know bukus of dollars on these VIP boxes. Which, by the way. VIP boxes this this month are going to be so. Whoo! Well, you already know what's in the <laughs> VIP box. You saw it. You saw it yeah, firsthand. I'm ready. And it's I'm awesome. Ready. It's awesome, is yeah. it not? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm ready. But I, I'm losing money on VIP boxes this month. I should have had a bigger trailer, but I couldn't because I'm losing money on <laughs> VIP boxes this month. 
So if you want a VIP box, check it out. You guys are going to be super jealous that you're not on a VIP member this month. <laughs> so, yeah, we wrapped it with, um, I mean, basically art by Nick. You know, it's pictures that I've taken uh, over the BLPA, uh, you, you know, the, the breadth of the the BLPA history. And they're on a trailer now. And the reason we did it is because we're driving around. We want people to say, what the fuck's BLPA? Oh, I'm going to go to BLPA.com and check it out. And there's also a big logo of the podcast on the back. So hopefully people will check out uh, the podcast. But yeah, it has a bunch of pretty rad pictures. And why why are you? Why don't you like it? I mean, I'm not on there, so yeah, like I don't know how rad it could possibly be. Uh, a little disappointed there. I mean, you would think, you know, one half of the face of the the big show would be somewhere on there, uh, but you're not either. Yeah, so I'm I not, guess yeah, I'm not even. No right. And you know why? There's, you know why? Because I can't take photos of my fucking self. That's why. Okay. I'm that's not gonna fair. I'm not yeah, gonna put a fucking fair. selfie on there. You know. I mean, you've done great jobs of taking photos of me over the years. Uh, yeah, like people look at them and they're like, "Damn, you must be good at hockey." And I'm like, "I'm not." But this guy can take some some fucking pictures. Hey, and here's uh, the deal. But, you know, here's I the, here's, didn't make the cut. Here's the real reason why. I didn't have any photos of Frank not being scored on, and <laughs> I couldn't put that on there. And if I put Frank, you know what I'm saying? Like if I put you on there and not Frank. It's a whole big rigmarole. Yeah, it's a deal. And if I put you on there and then I put Frank and it's just photo, it's a photo of him, you know, being scored on. Uh, that's another big deal. And so I, I was just like, fuck it. No, no Frank and Jason. Now, and, and then I got me to thinking now, cause everyone's talking about it now, right? Like, oh, they're on there. Why? How do I get on there? We should make like, Hey, if you want to be, if you want to be featured on the, 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 uh, the trailer, it, sponsor it up, bud. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'll, I'll take the photos. You, we'll do it every every year. We'll make a new we'll make a new wrap. All right. You sponsor. You want to be on there? Let's go. You know what I'm saying? I like that. And maybe, hey, maybe I'm just throwing this out there. I'm putting you on the spot. Okay. Maybe when the month before you go to wrap it, you give away uh, in one of the VIP boxes. You get to be on the trailer, and that person's picture goes on the trailer. That I mean, just that could saying. be. And listen, I didn't even yeah. I, listen. I didn't pick these photos. Okay, I picked a big portion of photos for the trailer. Like I probably gave them probably 150 of photos that I'm just scrolling through and dragging them into a shared folder, and said I don't want to choose. You, you choose, and you know why I didn't want to choose? Because I didn't want to. I didn't want to be on the hook. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, you didn't want to have this conversation yeah. that you're having right now. Yeah. Hey, and you know what? If, if you know, what? we'll just throw Randy. Randy chose all the photos. Go okay. go talk to Randy. Fucking Randy. Randy really didn't choose yeah, them. I, Randy. <laughs> I literally, <laughs> I literally just tossed them in, in a folder and I said, pick the ones that will look the best. And they picked them. And then, uh, you know, I wanted to get it wrapped in a certain time. And so when he sent me the the final proof uh, two days ago, I really didn't have time to make changes. So I was like, well, we're just going to do it uh, this way. Okay. Well, I, I'd like the guy's number. I'd just like to talk to him and just find out why my face wasn't handsome enough. Uh, for his big stupid rap, um, well, but other than that, it looks great. It, well, you, it does look you great. can uh, you can Randy at blpa dot com if you want to complain <laughs> about not being <laughs> not being on the uh, on the trailer. Uh, that's that's his his okay. area. I mean, Randy, you know, you know, Randy's Perfect. Randy's one half of the team, and so if I gotta take some heat, uh, we should make Ra- or old Randall take some heat sometimes too. And so you know, if you want to complain, uh, you know, you can leave leave a comment over at Randy at blpa dot com. Got so, it. All right. Perfect. Does that seem, I mean, that seems fair enough, I guess. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Okay. Well, listen, I can't wait for this weekend. It's going to be electric. I can't wait for Cleveland because it's going to be double electric. And I can't wait for Houston because it's, God, I hope we're not ringers on, on accident. <laughs> I just, I, like, I, it, it's really bothering me. Like, I saw the schedule yesterday and I saw the tears. I'm like, oh, are we in the small, are we in the lowest? Now, listen, I haven't really played hockey uh, since Omaha. So, me, I'm probably in the right division for myself. At, at, yeah, you're at, gonna you're gonna fit in no problem. At my present time, but listen, I have lost six pounds on Ozempic, so uh, you know, a little faster. You never you never know, right? So, uh, I, it really does bother me. I don't I don't want to be that team. I don't want to be like, oh, I'm not fucking buying fucking merch from BLPA to fucking in here sandbagging this fucking tournament. <laughs> if it happens, we didn't mean to. All right, we didn't mean to. If we went, right. listen, if it happens and we win a trophy, I'll give I'll give it away. I'll give the trophy away on this show. I'll be like, hey, who wants this trophy for us sandbagging? Here's our public shaming. All right? Some take our yeah. trophy. And if you, if you don't like it, it's nick at blpa.com. <laughs> hey, and, email, hey, let them know. Listen, and, hey, if you don't like it, 
I'll, I'll send every player on my team that was considered sandbaggers a big bag of dicks. And I'll particles. say, yeah, particles. <laughs> yeah, I'll just rub my particles in an envelope, <laughs> like a cheese grater, <laughs> and then send it right to them. <laughs> oh, oh. I'll show them. I won't actually put the cheese grater on my dog. That would hurt, all right? And plus, yeah, plus I, I don't really want to get rid of, uh, there's not too many particles to get rid of, and I, you know, I want to keep all I can, so, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I'm not swinging, old, yeah. I'm not, hey, listen, I'm not swinging around with old big old sack like some people, you know? Like old, <laughs> like old Thunder Nuts. Yeah, so, exactly. Uh, but anyway, uh, listen, the show wasn't very good, and we apologize for that. Uh, but <laughs> it's it's unfortunate that today's a high, you know, a high uh, dick particle index day. Uh, so I gotta I gotta get get away from out, outside because I've got too many in my mouth right now. So, we'll, we'll, all right, yeah. Let's, hey, listen, let's end it. listen. We should probably start planning some shows, don't you think? Yeah, maybe maybe the next one will will have true equipment and and maybe a, a small plan in place. Yeah, yeah, you know, and we have we have a text group. Like we can just get them to we can get we can probably get Solar Panel Joe. Uh, yeah. to, to plan our shows uh, along with Michael Cosentino, our true the true listeners, the big fans, we can, we can ju- they can just be yeah. the guys because there was that one guy that said he was going to be his pro- be our producer. I haven't heard from him since. You know, yeah, like he was all all talk there. Yeah, for sure. you know, but they, yeah, let's, we're tr- they're, we're they're the people that want to hear what we want. Yeah, we're they're the, the people that want to hear us. So you you tell us what you want, we'll make it happen. Hey, we're the talent here. We just got you think Howard Stern right. writes all his own stuff? No, he plays a bunch of writers. No you know. Come on, come on, producer. Yeah. What I can't remember what that guy's name was, but he's full of shit. Said he wanted to be our producer and haven't heard from him since. Michael Cosentino, Ridiculous. Solar Joe, let's go. Shout out. Yeah, write a show. Talk to you later. Be good or be good at it.
Check this out. Check this welcome, out. welcome to BLBA Big Show. Hockey sports, life for the adult athletes. Woo! Yeah. Powered by the Beer League Players Association. You better follow me. Follow us. The BLBA on every social media outlet. Follow the crew on Twitter at Nicker Jones. Let's get it. Here we go. Here we go.